Hi, I'm Miles Vaxfriend, and this is my eighth episode of Computers for Dummies. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use the Wiimote's pointer in Dolphin. It's kind of weird how you do it, and no, this does not use some special sensor bar, which I know sounds like, man, how would that even be possible? Well, I'll show you. Wait a second, first let me get something. This is going to be used later in the video. Okay, I'm back now. So, um... What you're gonna need... A Wiimote. I also have a nunchuck, because the game I'm gonna be using it with uses a nunchuck. It's Super Mario Galaxy I'm gonna be using this with. You're gonna need Dolphin. Or you could use a Wii or Wii U where you don't have the sensor bar plugged in. That will also work, actually. Like it, like, it will work with anything that uses the Wiimote's pointer. But what you also need is some candles. I know that sounds weird. And like, man, how is it even going to work if it uses candles? Well, I'll show you. And also, obviously, to light the candles, you're going to need a lighter. Here we go. I do not smoke, by the way. So let's light that candle, and let's light this one. Okay, so like I said, I prefer using two candles that are about the same size, like these candles, where really the only difference in size is caused by how, how one's more burned than the other, because they're the exact same candle. So what you want to do, go into your controller settings on Dolphin, make sure, make sure you have real Wiimote set for your Wiimote, and continuous scanning you want to have set, and I have enable speaker data set as well. So hold down the sync button with a pencil, paper clip, or something like that on your Wiimote. And you should see that notification right there saying, hey, a Wiimote's been connected. Yeah, I think I have my volume a little too high on my computer. Well, actually, it's not my computer, it's the family's computer because me and my dad built this gaming PC together. Okay, let's see here. Now, go to Tools. Wait, no. First, let me explain something to you. So, you may have noticed a lot of my entries are there, but like most of them probably won't even work because they're just things with the same extension as things that would be used with a Wii. But they're not because, you know, same extension but different file type. Well, one thing is, one thing I wanted to say is that you can actually use this tool called NUS Downloader to download the parts of the Wii's operating system to install those WADs in Dolphin, and then you can load the Wii's operating system in Dolphin. But if you do that, you have to do something kind of strange to get your ROMs to load. So like you, so you will emulate the disk channel. So what you want to do is you want to right-click on your ROM and set as default ISO. But now, uh, by the way, that does work with WBFS files despite saying ISO. So go to Tools and Load System Menu. And then point at the candles. And as you can see, the pointer shows up. Now let's explain how this works. Okay, I forgot to set my default ISO. I didn't want Brawl. Brawl doesn't use the pointer. Or there's another way you can do it while it's running. Like, 
Oh, file, uh, what was it? Eject disk, file, change disk. Uh, let's see, where is it? Sorry, I have a lot of files. Let me search for it. Here it is, Super Mario Galaxy. Now it should... Now it should load Galaxy. Super Mario Galaxy! You know, just seeing all this Wii operating system stuff is making me feel so much nostalgia. Because the Wii was one of the consoles I used a lot when I was little. Another one I used a lot was the GameCube because the GameCube was the last Nintendo console to come out before I was born, because I was born in 2002. In fact, that means I'm turning 18 really soon. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about this is that you want to turn the sensitivity of the sensor bar all the way down. You want to turn it all the way down, otherwise it's going to be really shaky. I'm a cat because I have nine lives, but not anymore because I just got a one up. So is this, so I like to say what I said before, is, is this Galaxy or 3D World? Okay, now let's explain how that works, that, that trick I did, let's explain how that trick I did works. So, the... What was it? So, the Wiimote's pointer is actually not a transmitter. It's actually an optical sensor. An optical sensor is what the mouse uses to detect that you're moving it. And you see, because what the mouse uses on your computer to detect that you're moving it, you know how they used to use that ball? They don't anymore. But now they use an optical sensor instead. An optical sensor, believe it or not, like, is just like a camera, is like... Just like a... Just like a... Okay. Okay, so just like a camera, it, it's basically a, an electronic version of an eye. Basically an electronic version of an eye. And you see... Why am I doing so bad at this? Is because I'm using Dolphin and because I'm used to using an actual Wii or Wii U. I should say because my Wii's been broken for many years because my dad actually raged and smashed it. And like, so I play this game on a Wii U, not a Wii. But right now I'm playing on Dolphin. Yeah, now back to what I was saying. So... So you see, the way it works, like I said, basically it's just an eye. And this eye can only see can only see certain wavelengths of light. One of them is the one that, that fire is. Another is an invisible one to normalize. That is what the sensor bar emits. The sensor bar actually emits a, a, a wavelength of light that is invisible to humans. And let me show you something after after this level with my sensor bar. Yeah, I'll show you something with my sensor bar after this level. I love how this looks like a shine sprite. It reminds me of, of a Mario game that I that was actually my first video game I ever played. Yeah, Super Mario Sunshine was the first video game I ever played, and my, and my nostalgia does not make me remember the glitchy mess that it is. I'm sure you all know it's a glitchy mess, and yeah. 
I'm still annoyed that in Super Mario 3D All-Stars, they removed the inverted controls in that game. I'm still annoyed about that. Because the inverted controls are one of my favorite things in that game. Oh, uh, one of my favorite things with the controls in that game. Not one of my favorite things of like, the whole game. I forgot this isn't Loopy Swoop Galaxy, it's Loopy Loop Galaxy. Sorry, my brain was on dial up there. So let me show you something with the sensor bar and how it works. So like my sensor bar, right, you see it right here, I, I just took it for my Wii, actually my Wii U. Like you can see it's not even plugged in, so it wasn't cheating on this, it's not even plugged in. And also you see it's the kind that will actually work with just a Wii and Wii U, not a computer. Which they do make ones that work with a computer, but they're not worth the cost as you can see here with the candles. So, you see these, these like, this like strip of things right here? Those look like LEDs. That's because they are LEDs. They just, they're just LEDs, they emit an invisible light. I'd say a wavelength below red because, I'd say it's probably a wavelength below red because... You know, orange is a wavelength above red, and it would make sense for it to be like a certain range of wavelengths. Like, red, orange, and a few wavelengths below red would be the ones that a uh, Wiimote can see. So, like, that's an orange wavelength that's emitted from those flames. And, yeah, let's grab this star now. So, yeah, the signal, another thing, the signal. The, the signal that's like, hey, the pointer's here, is not from the sensor bar to the Wii. It's from the Wiimote to the Wii, that means. Via Bluetooth and not the cable. Meaning the cable on the sensor bar is just an analog signal. Which makes sense. This is an analog signal and not a digital signal. Because if you look inside, you'll see it only has two wires. Well, I had to solder mine back together because... I had to solder mine back together because... You see, my cat likes to chew on cables, and my cat chewed on that cable. So I had to solder it back together, which I know how to do because, like I said, I am good at at electronic repairs. Unless it's an iPhone or iPad. Those are things I'm bad at repairing. Basically, pretty much, pretty much anything Apple. There are some Apple devices I could probably repair, but, you know, most Apple things I suck at repairing. Most Apple things I suck at repairing. So, yeah. Now you know that you can just use fire as an alternative to the Wii sensor bar. This is Melzbach's friend signing off.